Head coach G. Guerreri has instilled a strong family mentality within his Aggie team because to him, family is everything. But for him, his family has never quite fully felt complete until recently when he found that missing piece. I tell people all the time that I've, I'm the luckiest guy you've ever met. I was adopted as, a, as an infant um, in Chicago. My birth mother gave me up to uh, give me a better chance at life. And I was adopted by uh, Kay and Jerry Guerreri. First part of my life was as a kid in Chicago. That's where I kind of fell in love with sports. We moved to Texas when I was about eight years old. But at that point is when I fell in love with soccer. That's when I fell in love with what being a Texan is all about. I had a great family. I had great, I had people who really loved me and really cared about me. But I'd always wondered, what is my background? I've been raised as an Italian American kid. Um, and so, but I, I never wanted to really find my birth mother while my mom was still alive. My mom, Kay, passed away in, uh, in 2001. And, uh, and my wife, uh, Terry, is, uh, is someone who is a lot smarter than I am and was able to, she was the one who did the digging and the research. In those days, in, in the early 60s, this was a, pr a private um, adoption, so it was closed records. There was nothing public about it. It was all handled kind of under the table. Finally, through a lot of digging through the internet, getting into the wormhole and going really deep is how she found um, you know, Beth Hartman, who's, who is my, my birth mom. When she found her, she called me immediately. I was in practice. I don't usually answer my phone uh, when I'm in practice. I did that day. And uh, she was, you know, like, I found her. And I was like, and I knew who she was talking about, but I was like, who, who are we talking about? She goes, I found your birth mother. So I was like, well, I'm in practice right now. Let me, let me call you back. And of course I was out of breath. She was out of breath. So fast forward a little while, we went back to, to visit with her and with, with my family. And uh, you know, it's the first time that I had ever been someplace to a family event that I actually looked like anybody. I'd always been with, uh, you know, Italian Americans who are usually a little bit shorter than I am and have better hair than I do. And uh, all of a sudden, I go in, and there's all these people that, uh, you know, really embraced embraced me, and and they had never known anything about me. They knew, uh, they didn't know that Beth had ever had a child. The aha moment was, my uncle kind of said. You know, I don't know why, I don't know why none of us knew you. You were the biggest mystery that we've ever had in our family. He goes, and then it hit me that if you, if my mom, your grandmother had known about you, she would have raised you right here. They wouldn't have given you up. She would have raised you right here. And here was in Mitchell, Indiana, which is a two stoplight town. I would have never played soccer. I would have never met my wife. I would never be here. I wouldn't have my kids. And because I'm not here, a lot of the girls who came to play for me over these years wouldn't have come here. They wouldn't have met their husbands. They wouldn't have their kids. So you kind of spiral into this, you know, what one big decision made. So again, I'm blessed.